Hi, Sarah. This is Grandma. Great Grandma, Gigi, Ma. Anyways, I thought I'd send you that wonderful story that shows you why you are the way you are today. Fighting City Hall. Grandma Hollinen was one to fight City Hall and fight for her rights. After all, that's one of the reasons we got to vote, because she marched in the parade to get the vote for the woman. Don't you ever dare not vote. And next time, don't vote for Obama. <laughs> okay. But you, do, you just vote who you want to vote, but vote. It's important. Our citizens are right. And it's your citizen's right to fight City Hall, too. Because this is a free country. And we have a right to speak our minds. And you did it in the paper. What a wonderful article. You're one smart cookie. My granddaughter. Anyways, here's the story that I wanted to tell you about Grandma Hollinen. It was a depression time. And my daddy was off work because the mines were closed. And my mother was ready to have my sister, which was two and a half years after I was born. And they were taking care of the three boys, which are her boys by the first marriage. But her first husband kept the relief uh checks or whatever you want to call them I don't know you know you had to have certain kind of uh paperwork to get uh food but he was keeping all the food for the kids and my daddy was they were just using what they had for me and my mom and dad for all of us but she she decided she's going to go to that relief office there and in Lorium or Calumet, I don't know which town, and try and get those relief checks to her. Because after all, they were due her because she had the kids. In fact, she had custody of the children. Full custody. Anyhow, this is how it went down. She was just not far from delivery. And she had big babies. My, my sister weighed close to 11 pounds at birth and she was a tiny little thing so she went in there and told the guy that she needed those those food food checks and another thing was because my dad was was uh, had a truck that was broke down that he was trying to earn some money to feed us by hauling wood or something and the truck was broke down so he couldn't work or he hurt his shoulder. I don't know just what the story goes. But anyhow, for some reason, she had to go get some relief checks. They got cheese. They got eggs. They got things, you know, nutritiously. It wasn't that great. They didn't have steaks and stuff. They had dried beef. Oh, I don't know what else they were eating, but it wasn't too bad. Real butter. Anyways... The guy says, nope, can't give you those checks. Your husband has that truck. And so she says he can't drive it because he's broken his arm, his shoulder, or it's broke down. I don't know what the problem is. And he says, no. And she says, well, you're going to give it to me because my kids are home starving. And he says, nope, sorry. She says, okay, I'm going to sit right here in this check chair next to your desk until you give it to me. And so he got up and he went to lunch and he came back and my mother says to him, well, I'm glad your belly is full. My kids are at home starving. So he gave her the money or the checks or whatever it was that they had to give him for the relief and she went home and they got something to eat. That's what you call Fighting City Hall, fighting to get your rights, and she succeeded. And that's why we are the way we are today. I'm a fighter, your mommy's a fighter, and you're a fighter, and we'll just keep on going. <laughs> well,
what happened. It turned off. It turned off. I don't know why. I'm going to turn this off and, and send it to you. I think that Obama must be back there cutting me off. Bye.